BMW defined the original concept of the sports sedan. A quick, nimble, practical sports car. And nearly 40 years later, the 3 Series continues to lead the class. Your new 3 Series represents the fifth generation of this concept, which BMW continues to perfect with each new model. Your 3 Series is a pace setter in safety, quality, and of course, responsiveness. Designed to move you with more confidence and style than you've ever felt before. Advanced Security. Your new 3 Series is equipped with coated drive-away protection, one of the most technologically advanced anti-theft systems in the industry. Each key includes a tiny transponder which stores a random electronic code. Every time the vehicle is started, this code is changed. The next time, the vehicle can only be started if the key matches the new code. You will have received a set of keys consisting of two remote control master keys, a valet key, and a spare to be kept in a safe place. Never store any of these keys in the vehicle. The valet key may be used to open the doors and turn on the ignition, but it cannot be used to unlock the trunk or glove compartment. Before leaving the valet key with an attendant, insert the master key into the lock, make one quarter turn to the right, and withdraw the key in the horizontal position. When you unlock the door of your BMW with one of the remote control master keys, the key memory can reset the driver's seat and climate control to the positions they were in the last time that particular remote key was used. Each key's user can make several more choices, and your BMW center will enter these preferences into key memory. For example, having the vehicle lock automatically once it is in motion, and choosing to unlock all doors at once instead of just the driver's door first. Colored decals are provided to help you identify the remote keys. The vehicle memory allows you to store several more security preferences that apply, regardless of the key being used. If you prefer, you can have the daytime running lights come on whenever the ignition is started. And if your vehicle has an alarm system, you can have the siren chirp when the system is armed or disarmed. The choice is yours. You may also select pathway lighting from the vehicle memory. To activate, simply pull the headlamp flasher turn indicator stock toward you after turning off the vehicle. The headlights and interior lights come on for added security as you leave the vehicle and will turn off automatically after 40 seconds. The battery in the remote is recharged by the vehicle's ignition, so remember to use each remote control key at least once a year. There are three buttons on the remote unlock, lock, and trunk. Depending on your key memory preferences, pressing the unlock button once will disarm the security system and either unlock all the doors and the trunk or unlock only the driver's door and the fuel filler door. To unlock the rest of the doors and the trunk, press this button a second time. To lock the vehicle, press the BMW logo on the remote. If on a hot day you want to open the windows and moonroof before getting in, hold down the unlock button after unlocking the vehicle. In just a few seconds, the windows and moonroof will start to open. Continue to hold the button down. When the vehicle is locked, press the lock button to turn on the interior lights. This can help you locate your vehicle at night. If you have installed a BMW accessory alarm system, you can activate a panic alarm by pressing and holding down the trunk button. It's easy to deactivate by pressing the unlock button. Be sure to lock the vehicle again afterward. The alarm system includes a motion detector and a tilt sensor. If you wish to turn off these functions, press the lock button two times in succession. To unlock the driver's door with the key, insert the key fully into the lock and turn it once to the left. Turn one more time to the left to release the locks on all the other doors and the trunk. To lock the vehicle with the key, simply make one turn to the right. Turn one more time to the right to bypass the motion detector and tilt sensor. 
By turning the key clockwise and holding it in the lock, you can close the windows and moonroof from outside the vehicle. Great if you got out and forgot to close everything up. Never lock the vehicle with the key or remote if someone plans to stay in the vehicle. Anyone wanting to wait in the security of the locked vehicle should press the inside lock button located on the center console. The fuel filler door remains unlocked when this button is activated, so you may wait in the vehicle with a greater feeling of security while an attendant fills the gas tank. Press this button again to unlock all doors, or pull twice on the handle of a locked door to open that door only. The other doors will stay locked. To open the trunk, locate the trunk button on the remote. Press and release. Or press the trunk button on the left side of the driver's footwell, providing the trunk hasn't been locked separately to prevent access with the valet key. If the trunk is unlocked, push up on the rubber catch and lift the lid. If the vehicle is locked, using the trunk button on the remote or the release switch won't unlock the doors, and the trunk will lock again automatically when the lid is closed. If your vehicle has a built-in BMW universal transceiver, you may use the transceiver to conveniently replace up to three handheld transmitters for garage doors and gates. To program the transceiver, turn the ignition key to position two. To clear the BMW universal transceiver, press and hold both outside buttons. When the indicator light flashes, release the buttons. Hold the handheld transmitter no more than two inches away from the BMW universal transceiver. Simultaneously, press the button on the handheld transmitter and the desired button on the BMW universal transceiver. When the indicator light flashes rapidly, release the buttons. Driving comfort. The designers of your BMW were inspired by the 3 Series illustrious heritage. They met new design challenges while building on the 3 Series character and strengths. Well, our first concern, of course, is BMW is a driving car. So we want to keep this ergonomic flow, this sense of everything within its reach. You're active, you're proactive. I drive this car, I'm alive, I'm awake, you know, I use it. It's right there where I need it, but I'm in command. The interior is a stunning work of art and every aspect enhances your comfort, control, and driving pleasure. Well, one thing we really like about this interior is now we can really truly say all across the BMW range, all our cars have the same type of design quality level. The whole sense of the appointments of the car, how the leather is handled, how the instrument panel is handled, the wood options, etc., are at the same quality level as in a 5 or a 7 series. To adjust the manual seat, Pull the forward lever and slide the seat to the desired position. Pull the middle lever and raise or lower the height of the seat cushion. Pull the rearward lever and change the tilt of the backrest. With manual sport seats, you can also modify the tilt of the seat cushion by repeatedly pushing down or pulling up on the semicircular lever. Pull the lever under the front of the seat and adjust the thigh support. To modify the position of the power seat, locate the horizontal switch on the side of the seat. Pushing it forward moves the seat closer to the wheel. Pushing it toward the rear moves the seat further back. To change the height of the seat, lift with your fingers or push down with your thumb. The smaller button to the rear controls the angle of the seat back. Twist the button to recline the seat or to pull the seat back up straighter. With power sport seats, the rear of the large button controls the height of the seat. The front of the button controls the tilt of the cushion. Lift up to tilt away from the steering wheel. Push down to tilt toward the steering wheel. On the 3 Series convertible, pull up or push down on the small button to adjust the headrest. On other 3 Series models, manually adjust the height and tilt of the headrest, making sure that the center of the headrest is positioned at ear height. Press in the button at the base only if you find it necessary to lower the headrest to its lowest positions. 
If your car's front seats are equipped with lumbar support, locate the round switch. Press the forward arrow for firmer support. Press the rear arrow for softer support. Press the upper arrow to move the lumbar support higher up the backrest, or press the lower arrow to move the lumbar support down. Using the switch on the driver's door, push to the left for the driver's side mirror, or to the right for the passenger side mirror. Move the four-way adjuster switch until the mirror is in the correct place. While the vehicle is in reverse gear, the right side mirror automatically tilts down to optimize rear vision, provided that this switch is in the driver's side mirror position. If the switch is pushed to the right, this function is turned off. To reduce glare from behind when driving at night, tilt the inside rear view mirror by turning the red dial underneath. If your car is equipped with the automatic dimming inside rear view mirror, the mirror will automatically darken to reduce glare at night. However, when you select reverse gear, the mirror will lighten up for better rear vision. There's a memory system to capture three comprehensive settings for the driver's seat and outside mirrors. To do this, make sure that the key in the ignition is turned to position 1 or 2. Press the red button located on the side of the seat. The button will light up. Then press button 1, 2, or 3. To recall your personal setting, with the driver's door open or the key in position 1, simply touch the desired button. Please do not program or select a memory position while the vehicle is moving. Your owner's manual has further information. To adjust the tilt telescopic steering wheel, first locate the lever under the steering column and push downward to unlock it. Adjust the wheel. Pull the lever back up to clamp the wheel in place. The temperature of the optional heated front seats can be varied for both driver and front passenger using the individual controls. Choose between high, medium, and low temperature. If you have a 3 Series sedan or coupe equipped with split folding rear seats, pull the lever located in the trunk to unlock the portion of the seat you wish to fold down. Then simply pull the rear backrest forward. To return the backrest to its upright position, lift until it clicks into place. To use the ski sack, pull down the rear armrest. Detach the Velcro flap and push down on the oval release button. Lower the cover and unfold the ski sack. Press up on the round button to open the cover in the trunk. In the 3 Series Coupe, lifting the handle on the side of the front seat allows the seat to move forward, providing easy access to the rear. To use one of the clothes hooks in the rear passenger compartment of the coupe, press on the upper edge to release the hook. In the convertible, press and hold the rocker switch on the side of either front seat to automatically slide the seat forward or back. Now lift the handle to tilt the seat out of the way. If you have a 3 Series sport wagon, you may load or unload small items by pressing the button below the rear wiper and tilting the window up. To open the tailgate, press up on the rubber catch. In the cargo area, there is a handy 12-volt utility plug. The cargo cover attaches to holders in the rear. To use the luggage net, pull it up and attach it to the holders in the roof. It is easiest to do this from the rear seat. To remove the net holder, press the side buttons and pull the case out.